Hi everyone, my name is Lehman. I am a program manager working on the Microsoft Edge WebView 2 project. Today, I want to talk to you about bringing the best of the web to your native apps with WebView 2. A look at our agenda will cover how you can get the benefits of both web and native with WebView 2, see how Outlook is using WebView 2 to maximize the developer productivity, look at the WebView 2 release timeline and roadmap, and finally, we'll talk about deploying your applications in production. Before we dive into WebView 2, let's talk about the general concept of a WebView, which is an important control that almost all platform has its own version of. WebView allows developers to embed web content in their native applications. Web content being JavaScript, CSS, HTML, and these type of stuff. You can use WebView as a part of your application. For example, a sidebar for your accessibility model, or an ad segment at the bottom of your native app. Or you can also use a WebView to implement the entirety of your app UI. And all of these cases are actually fairly common. So why would a developer use something like a WebView? Why not just build a pure web app or a pure native app? It is really because WebView gives you the best of both web and native. Because you're shipping web content through WebView, you can share a lot of the web code between multiple platforms and with your website. You also get to do rapid web development and deployment. And also, leverage the vast web ecosystem and the talent pool out there. Not only that, just like a native application, WebView also has access to powerful native capabilities, such as advanced windowing or your own DRM system that a web app simply doesn't have access to. And last but not least, WebView can be a part of the application as we just demonstrated, which means you can incrementally adopt it in your native app without rewriting the whole thing. So what is this WebView 2 thing then, and how is that different from IE-based web browser control or Edge HTML WebView? For starters, it is a new WebView that we're exposing based on the new Microsoft Edge Chromium platform. It brings the best-in-class Chromium feature set, performance, security, reliability, and tooling. Unlike the Windows 10 Edge HTML control, which is versioned with the OS, WebView 2 is not only available, but also consistent among all supported versions of Windows, including Windows 7. WebView 2 is also available for multiple app types. So Win32 C and C++, WPF and WinForms, and the new WinUI 3.0. By default, WebView 2 is also evergreen, which means it's always up to date with the latest and greatest features and the best security. For developers that have a very strict compatibility requirement, we also have a secondary fixed version mode where the developer can package, ship, and update their own copy of the WebView 2 binaries. So essentially, you're trading automatic update and very lean footprint for total control on the platform. Let's take a look at Outlook, which many of us know has a desktop client and a web app called the Outlook web app. The Outlook team currently maintains different implementation for these things. And because of the different pace of innovation of native and web, there are a few uh, desktop experiences that are fairly legacy. With the help of WebView 2, Outlook is actually modernizing some of their legacy desktop experiences by reusing code from the web app. And today I want to showcase the Outlook Groom Finder as one such example. On the left hand side, I have the Outlook web app with its modern Room Finder experience. It is built with web technologies and it looks very nice. On the right-hand side, 
I have an internal build of the desktop client. The in-production version today has a legacy room finder that hasn't been updated for many years. But in the internal build, we have a WebView 2 window right here that hosts the same web room finder experience inside the desktop client. And as you can see, the web UI right here is actually fit in pretty nicely with the rest of the desktop UI. So I would definitely call this a success. So by reusing components such as Room Finder in Outlook, the Outlook team is able to really get a lot of benefits from WebView 2. First, they're able to dump a whole bunch of legacy code and really focus on a single code base for many of their experiences going forward. Secondly, they're able to drastically accelerate their update cycle, changing from a lengthy desktop deployment process to a simple server push for something like the Room Finder. And last but not least, they're able to make gradual changes and really modernize one piece of UI at a time as opposed to having to rewrite their entire native application with a full web framework such as Electron. Now you're probably wondering, hey, when can I get my hands on this WebView 2 thing? Well, the good news is WebView 2 is already under developer preview. And the better news I want to announce today is that the Win32 C and C++ version is going to GA or become generally available in Q4 2020. So very, very soon. The WPF and WinForms control will also GA in the same quarter, likely as a quick follow-up. And the WinUI 3.0 control is going to GA with the rest of WinUI in early 2021. So now that we're all excited about WebView 2 GA, let's talk about taking your application into production. During the preview timeframe, we've been telling our developers that they should have Microsoft Edge installed as the backing platform to develop and test their application. The browser is fine for these purposes, but naturally we've also been getting questions and feedback and concerns around, hey, do I actually need the browser in my production environment as well? And the answer is really no to avoid a few key issues. First, the Microsoft Edge browser is not guaranteed to be present on all devices. For example, uh, devices that are not connected to Windows Update or are not managed by Microsoft directly. So a big portion of the EDU and enterprise market. Generally speaking, it's also just a very confusing experience for application to require browser installation. And last but not least, browser and apps are also used very differently and the browser may have unintended side effects for the applications as well. A prominent example of this is that the IT admin may understandably want to version control the browser for their website compatibility. And we want to support them doing that while still letting applications to be truly evergreen and always up to date. So all of this lead us to believe that production applications should not depend on the browser. And we should give developers something better, something really tailored just for applications. And that's what WebView 2 runtime is. It is a redistributable runtime for WebView 2 applications, similar to the VC++ runtime or .NET runtime. Developer or the IT admin could just deploy it to power WebView 2 applications. I want to emphasize that the runtime is not a user visible browser. Installing it wouldn't register any Microsoft Edge desktop shortcuts or start menu item. Otherwise, the end user would just be really, really confused. Under the hood, the runtime is also Microsoft Edge binaries, but are really tuned and tested for application scenarios rather than browser scenarios. A single copy of the runtime will also power all of the evergreen applications on the box, saving your footprint. 
And as IT admin, you can also manage the install and update via group policies. So you can configure what time during the day is WebView allowed to get updates and through one network proxies. But disabling the browser updates will not automatically disable runtime updates because again, apps and browsers are just fundamentally different things. And last but not least, we're planning to ship the WebView 2 runtime inbox in future versions of Windows so that developers no longer have to worry about deploying it. And before that actually happens and everybody just moves to the latest version of Windows, we strongly recommend developers to deploy the runtime with their production applications. There are a few guides and tools that we expose to really help you be successful. If you have an online only deployment scenario, which means your end users are connected to the internet, we recommend that during your app setup, you would first check if the runtime is already installed via the reg key or the API that we provide. If it is not installed, you can programmatically download the bootstrapper um, on the end user device. And the bootstrapper is just a tiny installer that will get the runtime from Microsoft server and install it locally. Once the bootstrapper is downloaded, you can invoke the bootstrapper silently to install the runtime. So with this workflow, you're only installing the runtime when needed. You're actually not required to package anything extra, and you can install the runtime without any additional UI. If you have an offline deployment scenario, then you can package the full offline installer with your application. Again, you can check if the runtime is already installed, and if not, just invoke the installer silently with the silent flag. And this entire workflow can be done offline. If you're opting for the fixed version of WebView 2, you can also just package the runtime in its loose binary form with your application and you're all set. So to quickly recap, you can get the best of both web and native with WebView 2. Be sure to deploy the runtime with your production application. And if you are an admin, you can also manage the install and update of the WebView 2 runtime. And definitely be on the lookout for WebView 2 GA in Q4 2020. You can learn more about WebView 2 through our documentation. We have really nice getting started guides and full sample app that you can play with. You can also learn more about the WebView 2 runtime and enterprise manageability. And be sure to share your feedback with us on our feedback repo, which we monitor on a daily basis. And with that, thank you very much for joining me and hope you're staying safe and enjoy building your application.